can go and fight. Something we can go and fight. Just together, we could get a little lost in time. Oh, baby, there ain't nothing only you or I. So come along, I know there's something we can go and fight. I know there's something we can go and fight. If you were to spend your life as a flower, which kind of flower would you be? Yo, sunflower. Hey! <laughs> sunflower is a god! I mean... <laughs> which insect should we cancel? Ants. Thank you. Thank you. No, flies! <laughs> <laughs> would you live to be 200 years if you had the option? No, no, no. Yo, 200 years is a lot of time. Yo. Are you already bored? <laughs> no, I'm already bored. <laughs> <laughs> which is your weirdest scar? My I have a scar on my right leg. Um, they used to call it the map of Africa. It's such a huge scar. Yo. I'm gonna call you that. <laughs> <laughs> what skills do you currently have that will help us survive a zombie apocalypse? I can write. So I'll be able to preserve history. Wow. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> can you fight? Can I? Yeah, I can fight. I'm from Pretoria. I mean. A Pretoria. <laughs> I'm from Pretoria. I can fight. The perfect sandwich has five ingredients. Mm. Lettuce, mm -hmm. tomato. Mm -hmm. Oof, I can't get to five yo. As long as there is lettuce and tomato. D bread maybe. Bread <laughs> and bread and cheese. Wow. <laughs> Would you let me slap you for a hundred rand? Hundred rand? Yo. Yeah, yeah. I'm too broke right now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be the rain or the wind? The rain. How many slices of pizzas are you capable of eating in a go? In a go? Four. What comes to mind when I say the word fidget? Fidget... Linda. I'm always fidgety. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I chose it. <laughs> okay, the most important question of the day. Gin or wine? Gin or wine? Gin. Wow! Ah, we gin. all got Let's the wrong one. <laughs> Yo, what's gin, up everyone? You're in the Queen's Fortress and our guest for today is Dr. Dr. Linda Masilela. Welcome to the Bad Packer himself. Let's do poems. Let's do poems. Let's do poems. Um, the first one it's called Eyes Are Windows to the Soul. Um, self explanatory. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, bro. But I had fallen in love with darkness. It shines like starless planets orbiting my eyes, so I get it's a dark place in here. My iris is a broken Hubble telescope. Fragmented mirrors that lie perpendicular to one another, human beings shall see. But perspective is divided like chromosomes during mitosis. The eyeballs hold infinity, morphed into multiple realities. So what you see is an obscured picture tethered to your consciousness. What you call walking on water is a lifeless body floating after Hurricane Edaya. What you call a devil is a fallen angel hobbling around Hell's Orchard. To see is to breathe. Those who have mud on their third eyes hunger for oxygen. They walk with collapsed lung and ashes on their throats. Let me tell you how it all began for me. How my three eyes opened and I started seeing the world for what it is. I saw myself turned into existence. Hands carved, carrying prophecies from the unseen world. When I was 14, my eyes closed in her presence. Her name was Lerato. I watched her lips turn into an ocean. Cerulean energy whose depth I would never reach. We roller skated around Saturn. But the kids are still trash though. <laughs> when I was 24, I realized that eyes can never be windows to the soul because we are whole of ourselves hopelessly searching for meaning. Eyes will never be windows to the soul because we are whole of ourselves hopelessly searching for meaning. Hey. Send emails. Email. Alright guys, for the for those of you who don't know, Linda is a doctor guys. So, 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 so. <laughs> Official, it was official what like two weeks ago yeah, a whole like, medical doctor guys yeah. and he's also a poet so we're right. gonna play nyan i came with you right the doctor sure. because the you're a doctor and a poet so what you need to answer i'm gonna give you a scenario yeah then you answer are you calling the doctor or the poet in you yeah and That's what do one. they do <laughs> That's How a good do they one. <laughs> all right so there's a severe doubt drought yeah who do we call the doctor the poet what does he do um we're calling the poet Mm -hmm. um, the poet is going to be there and give people inspiration because during droughts people need inspiration and they need hope to live. So it's giving us hope. Yeah, <laughs> we're giving you hope. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Even water later. <laughs> All right. The pastor has been caught cheating. Who do we call? The doctor, the poet, what does he do? Yo, we're going to have to call the poet again. <laughs> what 
that's the point you want the pastor to say. Because the point is the voice of the nation. So people have to know. It's exposing the pastor. Proper. Proper. <laughs> and also explaining different sides of the story. I Someone has put milk in the rooibos. Yo, we're calling the doctor. Shout out to Soechi. Shout out to Soechi. What does the doctor do? We're calling the doctor. Mental evaluation. I mean... Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to let Sonny hear this. (laughs) Alright. You're at the airport and you forgot the bag of weed in your pocket. You are checking right now. Who are we calling? We're calling the doctor. What is the doctor doing? Because now they're trying to legalize cannabis. Um, so the doctor's gonna explain that this oh, person, that <laughs> this person actually needs it because it can be used for medicinal uses. So the doctor's gonna be like, yeah, "You're Linda the Lies." <laughs> All right, the last one: cover a poem and only the doctor is available. What does he do? Cover a poem, only the doctor is available. Mm. Ah, that's a difficult one. So the doctor's gonna be um, actually explain. Bring a different dimension to the to the piece itself, um, because the doctor actually sees people that are that are not well. So the doctor is gonna be like, okay, if this poem talks about this thing, this is how it affects life. Can in you see how well poets lie? Like- <laughs> 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 Linda, can you close us out with a love poem, darling? Yo, I don't have a love poem. I don't have a love poem. You, you, know, you, know, you guys are setting me up for you. <laughs> but just Freestyle, let's go. Freestyle. 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 Yeah. Speak ah, from the heart, darling. Would you like us heart. to play word throw with you? Okay, please, please. Let's please, play word throw. Let's please, go. Let's go. Let's throw the first so word. So the topic okay. is what? Is love. Yeah. Love. yeah. Okay, okay, so the first word will be Lerato. The first word is Lerato. Lerato. I see you and I saw love within you. I realize that names can be prophetic. Eyes. Eyes. Your eyes are so beautiful. I see myself <laughs> melting inside of them. Insomnia. Insomnia. Sometimes I don't sleep and think about you. Hugs. <laughs> Hugs. House. House. I realize that a house is never a home. Pokemon. But a home is never a house. Pokemon are randomly changing your presence. <laughs> I become multiple. Hey! <laughs> Spaces. Can we just, Spaces. Can we just close it by Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> it's done.